Hello everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. This is the latest edition of our weekly What's Ahead, where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Let's shuffle up the cards and get started. Real quick before we get into the cards, uh, I close my eyes to tune into this week and what's coming up. It may extend beyond this week, but what lies ahead and so intuitively, I wrote some things down because I think we've got some interesting stuff coming up. So for what's ahead, I closed my eyes and I saw clashes. Clashes relating to the Supreme Court. Um, I heard landmark ruling overturned, heads exploding. I got the numbers, I got the number 5th, 7th, and 9th. I don't know if those are dates, because today's the fifth. I don't know if those are dates, or if those are circuit courts of appeal, or something like that, perhaps, but fifth, seventh, and ninth. Then I heard, will start a cascade of events. Um, I saw stacks of legal paperwork being pushed forward. Um, it feels like a green light has been given, and now there's like, a flood, a cascade of events coming in the legal realm. Um, I wrote down here in my notes, um, stacks of legal documents being brought forward in the pipeline. So what I saw was they were already being put together in anticipation of an event. And when that event happens, the green light is gonna like push this stuff out, okay? I got marches. Picket signs, protests in front of the Supreme Court building. Uh, and this was kind of interesting. I was picking up on uh, just, just anger and freak out mode and protests and violence erupting across the United States. Um, I also got that there is also behind the scenes, what people don't see is there's another demonstration going on but these are done quietly in people's homes. What I sensed was the people that are going to be out in the streets marching and demonstrating are the ones who are going to be very angry and upset. But there's another realm of people who are going to be um, in celebration mode on the opposite side of the issue quietly celebrating in their homes, okay? Um, this is what people don't see. This demonstration of celebration is far larger than the ones who are openly demonstrating in anger, okay? So there's gonna be people on both sides of this issue. Um, some are gonna be upset and some are gonna be happy. And the ones that are happy are gonna be in their homes, uh, not, not demonstrating in the streets, so um, I saw these people in their homes kneeling in their houses, like get, getting on their hands and knees, some of them on the floor, like crying. <laughs> Tears of gratitude and thanksgiving, okay? Weeping and wailing and dancing for joy. That's what I see here. Um, but however, outside there's chaos in the streets. Uh, police are trying to get a handle on the violence that is erupting. Then my mind switched over to international protesting in this, in this feeling of protest going on. We have lockdown protests. That is going to be going on, I sensed, over in Europe even more. Marches, signs, and I feel like this is over the stab jab mandate. Uh, and Europe, large gatherings of protesters that are mostly peaceful. Now, my definition of mostly peaceful varies quite differently from CNN, okay? Mostly peaceful means mostly peaceful. All right, doesn't mean there's fires in the background and people getting shot, all right. Okay, uh, there's a growing concern, this uh, what's coming up. Uh, fears over a volcano, a sense, I sense a lot of fear coming from the scientists who are doing the data research collection. So they're trying, they're, what I got a sense was a picture of scientific data coming forth and the scientists and the smart people looking it over and there's like 
a little bit of like fear and trying not to show that fear or not like trying to figure out, okay, maybe it's not worst case scenario, but there's a fear that either a volcano could go active or it could erupt. Um, and I'm not sure where this is. I don't know if this is the La Palma, that's been going on for quite a while, but I think it could be a different volcano that might be waking up and there's fears that it could erupt, um, but they're trying to make sure that the science really backs that up before they say anything. Uh, it's kind of the sense I got. Uh, then, moving on, I pictured in my mind um, somewhere in South America, I believe it's just north of the equator, I think it's northern Brazil or perhaps the far eastern side of Venezuela, um, maybe bordering on whatever country, Guiana or whatever country is bordering Venezuela. I don't have my map in front of me, but anyway, um, I get some type of massacre. Um, now, what I couldn't what I couldn't tell is if it was animal slaughter or human slaughter. But what I saw was a native, very much native tribal um, man coming out of the jungle, like walking out of a lot of trees and greenery into kind of a clearing and he sees something and I didn't pick up exactly what he was seeing. I saw him and he's seeing something like a slaughter or he comes upon something like a massacre or somehow he's involved or he stumbles upon it and find that anyway i'm not sure what this is exactly um again i don't know if he's if he finds a bunch of animals dead or people or fellow tribesmen men and women i don't know but that's kind of what i sensed there so and i got kind of northern brazil area okay um, and then I was taken back to more protesting. I was drawn back into the United States. I see more protesting. Um, I'm seeing people demonstrating at their state capitals. Uh, for those who maybe aren't able to get to Washington, D.C. and protest at the Supreme Court building, they're going to their state capitals. There's rallies and things like that being put forward. Protests, I should say. Protests at the state level. So um, whatever is coming down the pike is going to um, cause a lot of people to go, their world is gonna just blow up, at least their imagined perceived world, okay. So that's what I got when I just tuned in. So holy cow, wonder what the cards are gonna say. All right, uh, I'll shuffle up and we'll bring it back. All right, so now we're back with the cards. So the spread that I wrote down is, we're just gonna look at six areas, what's in the news. So I've got the Queen of Pentacles. What I sense is something getting to roll out from a position of authority. This is like going to create something new coming just ahead. Now the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, very stable. She brings stability, but it's coming from that place of a grounded level head, level mind, and pushing something out. There's something coming from that place. This is a different take, a different view, a detachment. This is what's behind the scenes. We've got the Queen of Cups here. I'm focused in on the artwork, which is how I interpret the cards. And I'm seeing this queen, she's out on something that is detached from the land. You can see the water all around her. She's also holding a cup that is in line with the horizon behind her, but the pattern is different. I was focusing in on that. And I just, I get a sense of looking at something or a change of viewpoint coming. And this is going to cause a big change. Whatever this change is coming, and it could be related to the Supreme Court, I'm feeling like it's grounded and rooted. Queens are very solid and steady, and I'm feeling that with the Queen of Pentacles being coming from a grounded place and rolling something out, and then this Queen of Cups being on this rock that she's sitting on, a very solid, grounded position, but also this plant that's in front of her 
And I'm seeing like, I'm feeling the roots of this plant going down. So it feels like there's more connected and rooted and grounded. Um, hopefully it'll be rooted and grounded in the truth, in you know the, the rightness or the righteousness of whatever they're ruling on. I do sense that this is connected to an emotional issue. Um, this queen is holding that cup like really close to her heart. So I feel like this is emotionally charged and the cups have to do with emotions. So this is, maybe that's what's going to set off some of the uh, protesting and stuff that I see. But she's very, this is an emotionally charged thing and it's going to kind of be in your face. Um, but it's a change, it's a departure from how things have been. I hope I can explain what I'm what I'm feeling here. What I'm sensing with both of these queens, queens being very grounded, very centered, and I'm feeling these roots going down, the centeredness of they're both sitting on like a solid foundation. So I think what people need to know going into this is that this, whatever is coming out or coming out this week is rooted and grounded, okay, in, in reality, in truth, in law this is not like a flippant casual thing whatever decision comes out this is deeply rooted and grounded after being thoroughly looked into and vetted okay and this is the interpretation that's going to come out and it's it's going to change things um what's going to be in the open in full view we have the hermit card the hermit card is all about introspection, going within, soul searching. I think there's going to be a lot of that this week. A lot of soul searching this week. Uh, sometimes when, pe when things change in the outward realm, it causes people to maybe react in fear or go within. They should go within. A lot of people just, you know, they just react. But this is going to cause a lot of people to really turn and do some soul searching and introspection. So that could be a good thing. Um, but that's what's coming out. It's like, see, oh, okay. You know, this could be saying too, that the, the inner world and, the, and the, the soul searching, if that's gonna be open in full view, maybe people are going to be processing their stuff out in the open. That could be that an interpretation for that. Okay. The past energy that's leaving is the judgment card. The final judgment. The judgment card is all about getting your affairs in order. And I think there's going to be... Um, that's kind of what's leaving. I think, I think this is all kind of culminating this week. And this is where we've been, is processing, getting things in order. And it's all going to start to come out now. Um, now, unfortunately, <clears throat> the future card, this is what energy is building, what's coming up, and we've got the tower card. So I think this is what I was seeing with um, a lot of demonstrating, protesting, and unfortunately, violence in the streets, I'm afraid. Um, so I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that, and so just be aware of that. Uh, those who are staying home are probably safer. So that might be a better place to be, at least in the United States. Uh, in the case of Europe, I didn't get a, like a bad feeling with the violence. I just saw people protesting. So if you want to join that, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> um, all right. Now, uh, Four of Pentacles is on the outcome. And this is wanting to hold on to what's yours. It's... Wanting security, wanting stability, um, wanting predictability. And this is the outcome for it. So I think after things hopefully calm down uh, with this tower energy that is going to just explode and do some disruptive energy wise, um, we've got that four of things kind of wanting, people wanting more stability, maybe on the heels of all of that chaos too. Could cause that and then underneath this all we've got the four of swords uh, card of just uh, <laughs> I don't know, relaxation uh, that's what that card usually means 
Now, this man here is laying down. He's got his back up against a rock and he's asleep. At least he looks like he's sleeping. But he's taking a break. I almost get a sense with with these swords pointing down, like almost like feeling like defeat or something like that. And I'm wondering, because he's leaning up against a rock, and these two queens that we talked about earlier are both sitting from a place of a rock, sitting on that place of power, and he's leaning up against it, but feeling defeat. And that's what I sense with him. It's like, so whatever is coming um, is going to cause a lot of um, just def feeling deflated, feeling defeated in some ways, and having to reassess, having to regroup, um, not wanting to you know, burn the candle at both ends, but needing to take time to regroup, reassess, reemerge, reinvent. So that's going to take this here, the hermit, going within, being more introspective in order to get a clearer head to move forward. But there's, there's a big change coming, a big defeat coming. For many will see it as a defeat. And those who do will be protesting in the streets. That's what I get for this weekly what's ahead. So we'll see what happens. Don't lose your head out there. Stay safe, everyone. See you next time. Bye for now.